it's a little overwhelming. I have campaigns, ad groups, keywords, ads, accounts, multi-client centers. I have a big website, I have all these different products, I have different services, I have different colors of different products. Like, how do I structure a campaign? Like, what do I do? Well, there's a, a good system that you could use, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that in this lecture, on how to figure out how to structure your account and how to break out your campaign. Hi to Google Ads fans and welcome back. Before we can name our campaign, we really need to understand the Google Ads structural hierarchy and then just some concepts in figuring out how to structure campaigns. Let's talk about account um, hierarchy and we're gonna jump to the whiteboard real quick for this. In Google Ads, there's a few different structural components to an, to, to an account. So at the, very at the very top level, you have your Google AdWords, or your Google Ads rather, account, okay? And at the account level, there are different settings that are only applicable to the account level, but we'll get there. Then you have campaigns under your account. You have all sorts of campaigns. You could have um, many different campaigns. You could have hundreds of campaigns. You could have campaigns that are different campaign types. You could have search campaigns, display campaigns, retargeting campaigns, Google app campaigns, Google shopping campaigns, so on and so forth. The point is campaigns are the next level down. So let's say we have three campaigns here. Within campaigns, you have what's called ad groups. So we're just gonna do AG for ad groups. You have another ad group, ad group. Inside each ad group are two things that operate on the same level of the hierarchy. You have ads and you have keywords, okay? Ads and keywords are both contained inside every ad group. You need to have both ads and keywords in every single ad group in order for that ad group to function. If you're missing one of those two things, then nothing will function inside those ad groups. At the campaign level, you're dealing with things like um, location targeting, okay? That's a big one. Where these ads are gonna show up. You're dealing with ad scheduling, ad schedule. Um, at the campaign level, you're also dealing with device targeting. There are certain settings that are available at both the ad group and the campaign level, such as audience targeting settings. And we'll talk about audience targeting settings in a few lectures from now and what audience targeting means. Um, at the ad group level, you have ad rotation settings and other settings as well. And you'll see as we go through the account and as we go through the account together, we'll see exactly what settings apply to what level of the account hierarchy. The main thing to understand though is that you have this hierarchy and a couple of the big settings that are available at the campaign level like location, ad scheduling, and that ad groups are contained inside campaigns. Inside ad groups are your ads and your keywords. Your keywords are sort of the mediator between an ad being shown or an ad being um, available to be shown and a search term. Search terms are what the user actually types into the Google search engine. Remember we spoke about that um, in the previous section. Google will then look to your keywords to see, and based on match type, we're gonna to to spend quite a bit of time talking about keywords and match types. Google will see, is this keyword eligible? Is it related enough to the search term? Does this account want to show an ad of the impression? And ads, are what will then rotate in different ways for a specific group of keywords inside an ad group, okay? So you could have many, many keywords, right? You could have hundreds, thousands of keywords, not hundreds of thousands, there is a limit to the amount of keywords. Google does change that from time to time. You could have many, many different keywords and many different ads inside one ad group. And what that would mean is that all the ads inside one ad group, let's say you have 20 ads, they'll be eligible to be shown for any one of the keywords inside that same ad group. We'll talk about that once we get to writing ads and quality score and understanding keyword thematically related groups of keywords and things like that. Account, campaigns are inside account, ad groups go inside campaigns, ads and keywords go inside ad groups. You could have multiple ads and multiple keywords inside every single ad group. There are a couple settings that are set up at the campaign level, some settings at the ad group level, some settings at the account level. Um, but it's important to remember that there's a couple different reasons why we, might, why we might want to structure a campaign in a certain way. One is to control specific settings, and the other is for our own internal organization. Say we were dealing with a sofa company or an online furniture company, and we'll go through an example, and we'll go through a specific uh, case study of, of, of an online furniture company. You might want to separate out the campaigns by product type. Right? You might have a campaign for sectionals, you might have a search campaign for sofas, a search campaign for recliners. Now, technically, that could all be done inside one campaign. Right? I could have one campaign and I could, have an, I could have an ad group for sofas, an ad group for sectionals, and an ad group for recliners. Because let's say my location targeting, my ad scheduling doesn't change. Right? So I'm not forced, 
I'm not totally compelled from a technical perspective to have separate campaigns, but I would like to have them separated out by ad group. I'm not technically compelled to have them separated out by campaigns, but for my own organization, I might want to be able to keep things separate. I might want to give different budgets to different uh, product groups. I might just want to be able to log in and look at my campaigns and see which ones are performing better. There's, you'll get a sense of organization, and I would recommend doing that at a product level. If you only, if you're a business, let's say you're a service, you're a service business, and there are certain types of services that you'll offer within a 100 mile radius of your, your location. There are certain services you'll offer within a 20 mile location. Then those specific services need to be broken out into separate campaigns. So one campaign will have a 50 mile radius targeting. I'm gonna, we're gonna go through location targeting shortly. And another campaign will have that 20 mile radius targeting for the service that is targeted only within 20 miles. That will be a reason you break out campaign. Now that you understand the structure and the hierarchy of an account, in the next lecture we're gonna talk about how to look at your website's navigation to get a basic sense of how to start breaking out campaigns. And I will see you guys very shortly in the very next lecture.